Good morning and welcome to the podcast this morning. My guest is Randy Fisher from the Bucyrus Historical Society. Welcome. Good to be here. Thanks. Glad to have you back here. It's always a pleasure to have somebody from the Bucyrus Historical Society. And I will say you because you and I have uh, done these in the past, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in my other program. But uh, glad to have you here. Uh, I know you've got an event coming up here for the holidays at the... uh, Bucyrus Historical Society, correct? Yes, yes. We, on Sunday, December 3rd, uh, from 1 to 4, uh, the it's our Christmas open house. Uh, it's an annual event. Uh, this year, I think we've got a few little twists to it that'll make it a little more, a uh, little bit more interesting for folks. And uh, so, um, encourage everybody to come, come by. It's free, open to everybody. And uh, we're going to, um, the, the, the museum will be decorated for Christmas. Uh, it is already, and uh, you may have noticed the outside. Yes, the outside the has the trimmings up, up out yeah. there already. Yeah, so uh, but we're going to di- so we have if you haven't been there in a little while, we've got three new displays uh, that are that are up. One is uh, a, a permanent display for First Lieutenant Harry Martin, who was a Congressional uh, Medal of Honor awardee in World War II. Um, and then we have another one for Loretta Schmoller, who was uh, the first woman in the United States to manage an airport here in Bucyrus. And she went on out to California to do bigger and better things, uh, including uh, be, being very good friends with Amelia Earhart. And so, uh, but she was a pioneer in, in aviation, not just women's aviation, but uh, all aviation. And uh, so that's that will be this next year a permanent display. It's in a temporary location right now, but it'll be permanent. And then we have a fun one. We have uh, we put one up this summer. That's the history of the Bratwurst Festival, and so we have a lot of fun photos and things uh, from past festivals. And uh, but that's going down at the end of at the end of the year. So we'll replace that with another one. So we have those displays, uh, uh, including all you know all the other stuff that we have. Um, and then we're going to have some reenactors, uh, some folks that are going to portray uh, Colonel William and Hannah Crawford, who I did, I did. It makes sense, but I just didn't think about it. They're from Virginia, mm-hmm. you know. So his, of course, his claim to fame was here in Ohio in Crawford County, and which is then fellow that Crawford the county's named after. But uh, they're going to talk about Christmas traditions back in Colonial Virginia. Uh, which is where they spent most of their lives. Uh, we're also going to have a fellow by the name of uh, Kyle Van Camp, who's from Will, is a social studies teacher in Willard, but has the Brenton House in Ashland, who that he lives in, and he's restoring. and And uh, he's also uh, he's in the same reenacted reenactors group as as Mark Corey, who's portraying Colonel Crawford, and he's also going to talk about. Uh, colonial uh, life in colonial America, particularly around Christmas time. So we're going to have a couple uh, uh, folks there that are going to portray uh, some of our uh, um, folks from the past. So it, in along with some food and stuff. So it it'd be a fun afternoon. The other thing I'll put a plug in too for the Harvey School. Harvey School is having their open house at the same time. So if you want to make a trip to go visit them and then come to see us, uh, that that'd be great. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, it's, uh, it's fascinating, and uh, the history of the county is rich, which you and I know that, and uh, I guess what I would just say on this is I can tell a lot of planning has went into this uh, Christmas open house, and again, I'm going to repeat this because people never get things the first time, at least I don't. It's uh, going to be held on Sunday, December 3rd, yes. from 1 to 4 in the afternoon, at the Bucyrus Historical Society, which is located at 202 South Walnut Street in Bucyrus. Right. And so, uh, and if you drive by there now, like you say, if you look out on the uh, wrought iron uh, uh, fence, you will see, uh, what I say, I believe, red ribbons and some green garland. Yeah, garland and ribbons, yeah. r- wreaths on the windows. And um, yes. also there'll be, there'll be some very nice, we'll, we'll, we're actually going to take the, I'm going to pop the screen doors off of the of the museum, uh, to to uh, so you can see the beautiful sprays we have on on the oh. front doors. So just just for a couple of weeks, uh, but uh, I think the the doors can withstand the weather for a couple of weeks. Yeah, to have I think those, so. I think to have think those on display. So yeah. Well, Randy, I want to uh, I, I, before we went on uh, air this morning, uh, 
uh, I did bring up, uh, I'd bring it, brought in a copy of the uh, newsletter, and I'm going to hand it over to you because you, when maybe that camera's on you, you can actually hold it up, and maybe people will get a chance to see it. It's when not it's on, on, but it's not okay. on, but no. it'll get there when you see it. <laughs> but at any yeah. rate, uh, I would uh, like to encourage people. I'm a member of the Bizarre Historical Society, been for a number of years, and I'd really like to encourage people to become members in the. Uh, uh, Bissar's Historical Society. Now, if you are a member of the Historical Society, uh, you have a quarterly newsletter that goes out, correct? Yes, yes. It's uh, the Bissar's Historian, and uh, um, it's 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 uh, a really a, a, a passion. Um, we had uh, Ray McCall, who uh, just passed away a couple years ago. Uh, did it for a number of years, I think 25 plus years. Yes. And he did a wonderful job. And uh, uh, then Jesse Ferner and I have taken over uh, writing and, and putting it together. And this last, uh, what this one's from the summer was on, it was again, is on Loretta Shimoer. Oh, there's the lights on. So this is what the newsletter looks like. Um, and um, they're, they're, they're a lot of fun. You, you, we learn a lot, and uh, and it's an opportunity also to talk about what's going on. Uh, we we promote what's going on in in, in the other societies around the county, um, and uh, so this this one I'm working on right now. I'm going to get it finished up here uh, right around Thanksgiving next week. is uh, is a Christmas focused one. Um, I'm going to be reprinting uh, a, a couple articles that Jim Cronice wrote in the uh, his Down to Earth series in the Bizarre's Telegraph form. Uh, about I think one is Christmas uh, in Bissaris in 1945, so it'll be right after the end of World, World War, II, War II, and, yes. and so that it's a very special Christmas because yeah. uh, uh, a, a lot of the the troops were home uh, for that for the first time in years, uh, and I think one also from the 1950s. But they're very, very uh, uh, poignant looks back at look look back at Bissaris at that time and what was going on uh and you know jim's got a very uh interesting writing style and and uh so we're going to reprint a couple of those but also i'm going to um put a little personal touch to it this year um i was thinking about our family the fisher family and uh um christmas was has been a very very big part of our lives um traditions brought over from germany uh, from my grandfather in 1884, then my grandmother when she joined him here in uh, 1922. And a lot of those, again, old German uh, traditions, uh, particularly the cooking, which I always enjoyed, uh, w- have been passed down now through um, my generation uh, and our uh, my uh, sister's uh, kids. So, And then their kids are now getting uh, introduced to it. So it's it's uh, I'm it's going to be a little just a little of a personal thing, but we're also going to talk about uh, Christmas uh, at, in Fisher's Hardware. It was a, a business in downtown Bissars for over a hundred years, um, and uh, then my uh, my uh, cousin Fred Fisher, who's alive still, I'm I'm living in his uh, uh, folks' house, George and Dorothy Fisher's house, and. Um, um, they used to in the early 60s there's a valley between what was the, the fisher house and the cosgrove house okay red red nan cosgrove and they used to string a cable across between the two houses it's an interesting story about that and red was a sign maker and such and so he would uh we would do these cutouts of santa claus and helicopter and reindeer and snow and stuff and the, the city uh um uh made that Cheering Lane, the uh, Santa Claus Lane, uh, for a week before Christmas, and cars would just, they said they counted two, 300 cars an hour going by the house looking at their display. So there's some funny stories in, uh, involved with that. And uh, so I'll, I'll just leave the rest. But it's going to be a Christmas-focused uh, newsletter, and I hope, hope folks enjoy it. Well, I'll tell you, there's just so much there. Uh, like I said, it, am I correct? Uh, individual membership, isn't it? Ten dollars. Yeah, it's still ten dollars. Yeah, okay. so it's very affordable, and yes. I think you become a lifetime member for a hundred dollars. Yes. So um, yeah, we'd love to have more members, and uh, and not only to get the newsletter, but to uh, uh, just be involved in. in yeah. As you say, we have a very rich history, and we want to promote that. Um, 
if I can have add one other thing that you we're can doing, add yeah. whatever you would like. Well, so this will be uh, next year. We'll be starting this third year that we, the the different county societies, so Galleons and Crestlines and New Washingtons and Busarses, and including the other like the Harvey School and the train station, and those uh, I think there's eleven different organizations that have kind of bond, gone together to create the county historical alliance, and. This past, past summer, we did the passport program where we had a passport. Yes, made up you go to different. Go, yes, and get stamps. And so this, this we'll, we'll, we'll do another project. We think we'll continue that that program. Um, but I will also put uh, give you a little hint. Uh, so America's 250th anniversary is coming up in 26. And uh, there's there's folks starting to plan for that. And uh, we're going to be, uh, looks like we're going to be, the County Alliance uh, is, is going to be collaborating with the, the, the libraries um, to, uh, to do some events for, it's called America 250. Oh. And uh, so we're going to, um, you know, I'll, I'll say, for example, uh, they're, I understand the, that they're pushing aviation, for example. And so we've got a great uh, You've got person. a great thing there. Yeah, exactly, to do that. So um there's just a lot of things, and uh, it's very uh, gratifying to see uh, uh, the county historical societies come together and work together and collaborate and share information. And so it's 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 uh, it's a good thing. Randy, I think we've covered a lot here today. We talked about membership, and I, I tell you what, you always need new blood blood in organizations. Right. So we, you can always use members. And you can always use volunteers. Exactly. Yeah. That's something else yes. I guess would stress, wouldn't I? Uh, yes. Uh, there's some turnover on our board, and we're getting some younger, uh, enthusiastic folks uh, on the board. And and uh, we, uh, uh, so we're, but we're looking for we're always looking for more more folks that want to help and volunteer and be involved. All right. I want to thank Randy Fisher for being my guest from the Busiris Historical Society. I wish you the very best coming into 2024. The newsletter. I like the format. I just like everything about it. There were some changes made. I, I really like the appearance of it. It really makes you want to pick it up and read it immediately. And the other uh, thing I just want to remind everybody for the third time we're going to mention it, the open house right. is on December 3rd, Sunday, December 3rd, from 1 to 4 in the afternoon at uh, the Busaris Historical Society located at 202 South Walnut Street. Right here in Bucyrus, Ohio. Thanks a lot, Randy, for being on. You're welcome here anytime. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're more than welcome.